Meanwhile, at the Los Santos courthouse in a waiting room, Lauren and Tyler came in, but Lauren stopped Tyler just as he turned and faced her. You certainly should do this. I think we should find where our parents is. Besides, they had enough time already. Then, what are we going to do? I mean, even if they get located, we can't just go back like nothing happened. Remember, we're doing this for Alex and Casey. Fine. Just so you know, the second we locate them, we're going to want some answers to what the hell happened. All right. And this woman came to where Tyler and Lauren is, and they saw. You must be Shen. Yes, and the two of you must be Lauren and Tyler. I got your phone call. Now, let's head to my office and we discuss some things. And as they follow Shen to her office. Meanwhile, at the Edgewood Rich Manor in Vanessa's room, Melissa's sitting on Vanessa's bed, looking at her engagement ring. And as her iPhone rings, and she saw it's Tracy and answered. What do you want? Is that how you talk to a person who holds Sammy's fate? We both know he didn't try to kill your husband. Yes, but there's no proof. I don't need you. Which Tracy, need I point out that you're in no position to talk? And as Melissa noticed Vanessa came in the room, look, I gotta go. And as Melissa hung up, just as Vanessa came to where Melissa is. I need to tell you something. Meanwhile, Thomas came in the house and closed the door and went to the studio room and found his dad putting the equipment together. That was fast. And as Sammy turned and faced his son, well, time's all wasting. Anyways, we'll bring you here. And as Thomas came to a Samuels, Yolanda and I broke up. What? What happened? You remember that party we went to where all the drama unfolded in New York? You mean when Holder allegedly kissed your sister, Lucy and Carl, and Victoria and me kissed each other? And although I don't want Yolanda to get hurt, she found that in the end. Meanwhile, at the Grandview Diner, and as Yolanda came in and went to the bar store and sat down. And as they came to where Yolanda is. Can I get a fruit platter with orange juice to go? Anything else? That'll be all. And as Yolanda had faith, her credit card. And she turned and walked away, just as Victoria came to where Yolanda is. And she turned and saw her. What's your rush? To run home and play house with Thomas? Why the hell are you even talking to me? Because you and I need to have a serious talk. Meanwhile, Faith finished rigging up an order and went to another table where another guy is who's finishing his meal. Did you enjoy your meal? Yeah, I did. No thanks to you. Well, the chef get all the credits. I take that this is your first day here, because I haven't seen you here before. Well, I guess you can say that. Meanwhile, at the Grandview Auto Shop in the garage, a woman came in looking for Ricky, and as she walked by Prius, so Ricky came rolling out from under the car he was working on and got up and saw his girlfriend Abby just as she turned and they went and kissed each other and pulled back. I thought you might be here. Look, I'm glad you're here. I am too. We need to talk. Can we do it in your office because it feels like we kind of exposed out here. How can that be when you and I are the only ones here? I guess that's true. Abby, I think we should break up. Meanwhile, at the Los Santos International Hospital in Lucy's room, Lucy's lying in her bed thinking, and as she has a flashback to her and her mom talking, Honey, you've been sick since we left New York. Mom, I'm fine. I've just not been feeling like myself lately. Look, the last person I'm burning had more- Mom, there's no way I'm pregnant at all. Are you certain? And as the flashback ends, resulting in Lucy filling her stomach. Get a grip, Lucy. There's no way you're pregnant at all. And this woman came in and closed the door. And Lucy saw. My name is Jordan McKinley, and I have the results to your test. And as Jordan came to Lucius. So, you have a reason to why I have morning sickness? Yes, I do. And I think you need to prepare yourself. Meanwhile, at the Los Angeles courthouse in Shannon's office, Shannon, Lauren, and Tyler are talking. I understand the two of you want to locate your parents. Yeah, we do. Do you know the last contact you had with them? Well, the last time we heard- Actually, we heard from them from an email. Look, you two have my assurance that anything you say will remain between us. The truth of the matter is, our parents have been having problems of their own. What kind of problems? Let's just say, they didn't give a damn about us at all. Meanwhile, at the Edward Rich Manor in Vanessa's room, Melissa and Vanessa are talking. What's going on? 
I ask Adam to marry me? What? Oh, come on. Life is too damn short. There's gotta be a reason to why you two are engaged. I love him. Just like you love Jeff. Anyways, Adam and I are already about to be in our 20s, so what difference does it make? The point is, I need you by my side. Girl, you know whatever you decide, I'm there for you all the way. Meanwhile, in the studio, Thomas and Samuel are talking. Apparently, when I was about to tell her, she got a text beaming to it. Who else knows other than us? I don't know, Dad. I really want to make it up to you. I know you do, son, but it won't make it easy since whole- I don't give a damn about that, Dad. I can't lose her at all. I just wish that night didn't happen at all. But the thing is, it did. Maybe I can help you. I don't think there's much you can do. I wouldn't be too sure. Besides, the Edgewood men never give up to the women we care about. Meanwhile, at the Grandview Diner, Yolanda and Victoria are talking. You and I aren't doing this right now. You see, that's where you're wrong. Because we are. Because you're going to want to thank me when I'm about to tell you in the end. Which is what exactly? Thomas was never the right guy for you. And you've known that all along. Well, I guess you should know that since Holden is in sex. Shut up. He was the best man I can find. So your boyfriend stood to call you Lucy Storm away. Thomas isn't my boyfriend. What did you say? You hurt me. Thomas and I are done for good. So glad to hear that, especially when he's about to become my boyfriend. Meanwhile, Dave's talking to a customer in another booth. So, you're from Los Angeles? Actually, I was born in England, but I did grew up in LA. That's good to know. Why don't you join me for a cup of coffee? As much as I want to, this is kind of my first day and I want to make a good impression since Adam helped my brother and I get this job. And you will. You know, I don't even know your name. Lucas. Lucas McKinley. So, that coffee. Do you still want it after work? Meanwhile, at the Grandview Auto Shop, Ricky and Abby are talking. Did you say yes? You heard me correctly. I don't think it's going to work out between us. Look, I know I've been busy with my modeling career. It's not just that, Abby. Then what is it? We're just two people who are going in different direction. I know what this is about. Do you really? Yeah, I do. You're dumb because I'm wrong. I know about you and Cole Mitch, and don't say it's nothing, because what I saw you mean at holding Grimes party, it meant nothing. In fact, I prove to you right now, and why we're at it. Will you spine on me? It really doesn't matter right now, so how are you gonna prove this? And as Abby begin kissing Ricky. And as they pull away. Really? That's your answer? Yeah. And I'm gonna prove some more. And as to continue making out. And as Abby led Ricky to the office. And as Abby closed the door. <sighs> Meanwhile, at the Los Angeles International Hospital in Lucy's room, Lucy and Jordan are talking. Can you stop the suspense? Am I okay or not? The test shows you're fine, but you're about to have a life-changing event. What does that even mean? The reason why you're having morning six is you're pregnant. No, I can't be true. Well, the test confirms it, and it never lies. You're gonna have a baby. You would think you'd be happy to get good news like this. I am, it's just, you don't want your husband to find out. Thing is, he's going to in the end, and he'll come around soon. Thing is, I'm not married. I kinda broke with him before moving here. Is there a reason, Amaya asks? Actually, there is. Meanwhile, at the Los Angeles courthouse in Shannon's office, Shannon, Lauren, and Tyler are talking. So let me get this straight. From what you two are telling me, your parents have forgotten about you two. It's not just the two of us. What do you mean by that? The thing is, we have two more siblings. We have our brother Casey, who's currently in a coma in the hospital, and we have our younger brother Alex, who we're taking care of right now. How old are you two? I'm 21 and he's 18. Is there a point to this? The thing is, you two shouldn't be wasting Alex. That's the state's responsibility. In fact, I think I should get struck. We came to you for help, not for you prior to our lives. I get it. Really, I do. But I need to know everything about you two so I can help. How can we trust you after what you just said? It sounds to me you two have more than what you're telling me. You know what? Forget it. We're not doing this right now. In fact, thanks for wasting our time. And as Lauren and Tyler got up, wait, and as Shannon got up, for what? Look, I know I kind of tried it kind of hard, but 
I'm seen as from a mother figure, and I'm also a parent. Look, lady, we didn't ask any questions to your personal life. We came and hoping you find some assistance of finding our parents, but seems to me that's not gonna happen at all. Please excuse us. And the starting teller turned and held the room. Meanwhile, at the Edward Rich Manor in Vanessa's room, Melissa and Vanessa are talking. Thanks. Look, I know I've only met Adam, but there's no reason in waiting. Clearly, there's more to why I'm doing this, isn't there? <sighs> yeah. You remember Tracy Grind, right? Hogan's mother? How can I forget? I saw her shot her husband in cold blood, or whatever she did, and now she took up the evidence against your dad if I don't marry Adam. Why the hell would she blackmail you when she killed her own husband? I have a feeling we're about to find out how ruthless Holden's family is, which is why I have a plan. Meanwhile, in the studio, Thomas and Samuel are talking. What do you mean by that? All I'm saying is, make Yolanda understand what happened. You see, that's just it. She won't see past what I've done. Look, I had the same situation with your mother, and it worked out. That's because she loved and believed in you. Like I said it before, Yolanda will come along soon. She's made it quite clear that she wants nothing to do anymore, Dad. And you can't let that happen. No, but I can't help but wonder, can I move on without her in my life? Meanwhile, at the Grandview Diner, Yolanda and Victoria are talking. What did you say? You heard me correctly. I didn't stutter that, did I? I'm going after Thomas full force. Not if I can help. Oh, but you will. In fact, you can help me make it happen. Oh, the hell I will. I beg to differ. Because I don't have Thomas, I will expose the fact that Carly and Nick are seeing each other. You are really insane. I have proof at all. So be ready to help me win my future husband. And as Faith came back, give Yolanda's to go orders. And Yolanda got it. You know what? Seems you're busy here. We will talk later. Excuse me. And as Victoria got up and went and left the diner. And as Faith turned to Yolanda. What was that about? Don't ask. And as Faith gave Yolanda her credit part back along to receipt which she signed. You need anything else? No. I'm waiting for a friend. And as Yolanda gave the receipt back to Faith. And as she turned and headed back inside the booth of Lucas. It's a date when I get off. Okay. You won't regret it. Oh, I know. I trust you. Anyways, I gotta run some errands, but I'll be back. And as Lucas got up and took her to swallow, I left $50. See you later. And as Lucas turned and walked out of the diner. Meanwhile, at the Grandview Auto Shop in the office, Ricky and Abby are lining covers on the floor. <sighs> Damn. That was great. Just like I remembered. And as Ricky sat up and faced her. What are you playing at? Doing what? Pretending everything's hunky-dory when you know damn well it's not. And it's Abby set up and face Ricky. You're still mad about Cole and I? I understand, Abby. It's not just about that. Then what is it really? You truly think just because your dad gave me this job and that we're dating, that we forget what happened? I don't forget what happened with Cole. I'm sure you don't. The thing is, I don't see us moving on. That's why I'm going to quit my job and I'm breaking up with you for good. And it's Ricky got up and got a stuff and went and left the office. Meanwhile, at the Los Sanchez International Hospital in Lucy's room, Lucy and Jordan are talking. Jack and I are really two different people. Do you two love each other? Yeah, we did very much, but as happy as I should be, I don't think Jack's the father of my baby. And who is it? The reason to why Jack and I aren't together is because of Holden Grimes. You don't mean the Holden Grimes? Yeah, that's the guy. Wow. He's really famous from North Carolina who now lives in New York. Yeah, I'm sure you heard about the news about me and Carly. Yeah, you two kissing. Anyways, I'll go get some forms for you to fill out. Excuse me, and as Jordan turned and went, I left the room. <sighs> Just as Lucy got up and head to the folders all and opened the folder and saw the results that she's pregnant. And as she thinking, is it possible that the baby I'm carrying right now is holding Grimes? And as Lucy began to feel her stomach 